Welcome to Washington. I'm Brett Baer. Republicans trying to get President Obama to change his mind about bringing 9-11 suspects to New York now have some help from across the aisle. National correspondent Catherine Harridge reports on a renewed effort to avoid a spectacle many feel will be too costly and too dangerous. In a letter to the Attorney General Eric Holder, six senators, three Republicans, two Democrats, and one independent urge him to reconsider his decision to prosecute the 9 11 suspects as common criminals with the full rights of American citizens in federal court. Quote, it is not in our national interest to provide them further publicity or additional advantage. They have committed an act of war, so they don't deserve the constitutional protections of our court. Also, two congressional Republicans, one in the House and the other in the Senate are mounting a plan to block the transfer of Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, the self-described architect of the attack, and his co-conspirators to federal court by cutting off the money. So the cost of moving a handful of people and trying them and keeping them in New York City until the appeals are out could cost up to a billion and perhaps even over a billion dollars. So it would be done through the appropriations process. After the election of Scott Brown, who ran on a strong national security platform, a leading Senate Republican says the support is there on Capitol Hill. There a lot of Democrats who oppose the idea of sending them to New York City, putting them in civilian court. And if I have another vote, I think I'll get a majority of the United States Senate. Senator Graham says this is about the larger issue of criminalizing the war. And the case of the alleged Christmas Day bomber, Graham says, shows the real problems the administration has created by Mirandizing the suspect and forfeiting future intelligence about a real time threat to the U.S. I think the administration has made a mistake that could bring their administration down. This is one issue where most people don't see the other side. When a Fox News crew saw a comment about detention policy from the attorney general at a recent speaking event, his detail appeared to direct the hotel staff to block us. You need to leave now. Bye. Reed Weingarten has known Holder for 30 years. You know, Eric is a Justice Department guy. He believes in taking cases one at a time and seeing that justice is done. I firmly believe the criminal justice system is up to the task here. A Justice Department spokesman would not directly comment on the growing pressure from some lawmakers to move the trial to a military setting. Instead, Fox was referred to the Attorney General's testimony on the Hill November 18th, where he states that 9-11 was both an act of war of federal criminal law, right? Seems like it's gaining steam. Definitely. All right, we'll follow it. Catherine, thank you. You're welcome.